To other news now, former AFL player Chris Yarren has been charged over a three-hour crime spree across Perth's northern suburbs. It's alleged the 27-year-old caused a three-car pile-up, carjacked an innocent driver and assaulted a police officer. A chaotic three-car pile-up in Mirabuka that left several innocent people injured. The driver allegedly running a red light on the corner of Mirabuka Avenue and Reed Highway before trying to carjack several other drivers who stopped to help. The man allegedly behind the wheel was former AFL star Chris Yarren. He was just trying to get away. He was trying to find any way possible to get away. The drama started in Alcamos when Yaron allegedly stole a Kia Rio sedan from a man in his 60s who'd been giving him a lift. About an hour later, the car crashed after running a red light on Mirabrooka Avenue. Police say he tried to steal the cars from several people who stopped to help at the crash scene before running towards Nolamara Avenue, where he allegedly assaulted a man in his 40s and stole his white Toyota hatchback. That car was found by police almost an hour later on Hill Street in the city. At the accident scene it was madness. Um, when he was trying to get into people's cars there was another gentleman running towards him telling him to get away. Uh, the girls who were in their cars were screaming. Chris Yaron faced a bedside court hearing today charged with assaulting a police officer and it's likely more charges will be laid. The court was told he was unable to be roused for the hearing. He was granted bail but will remain here at Royal Perth Hospital for the night. He was drafted from Swan Districts to Carlton in 2008, playing more than 100 games over seven years with the Blues. But once his AFL career ended, Yaron's life took a turn for the worse. Last year, he admitted his addiction to ice had ruined his life. It destroyed my relationship, my career, my finances, my health, physically and mentally. In April this year, Chris Yaron's cousin, former Fremantle forward Shane, was found dead in a home in Seville Grove. Chris Yaron will face court again later this month. Anne-Marie Leonard, Nine News.